Welcome to Ascension Parish Coffee Talk, a weekly show where I talk about nothing but Ascension Parish. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer for Ascension Parish. This week we're going to be talking to Ryan LaRussa over a large cup of coffee about home loans here in Ascension Parish and how they can differ from other areas. And also how some new loans have come out, especially to help people that have been affected by the Great Flood of 2016. Um, he'll also be talking about some conventional loans and VA loans. So let's get started. Christina, how are you? Good, good. I just stopped by today so um, I could have our viewers learn about some home loans here and how they would differ in Ascension Parish, if at all, yeah. and what kind of um, packages you offer since the Great Flood of 2016. Yeah, well, there's definitely a lot going on. I think the first thing is... Uh, Why don't you just tell them who you are first? Yeah, yeah so first <laughs> things first, let's, let's kind of talk a little bit about us. There's there's a lot of great companies uh, out there. You know, I've been doing this for 16 years. Uh, I've seen, hopefully, the best of the best and the worst of the worst. And what I mean by that is everybody remembers 2008, which was a pretty scary time in our mm -hmm. industry. Uh, we survived through that, and um, at the end of the day, we really thrived. Uh, since that things were really good when I got into business in 2000 mm -hmm. so everybody asked me Ryan so what's gonna happen when interest rates go up you know what's that gonna look like mm -hmm. well when I got into the business back in 2000 interest rates if you got 7% you were doing fantastic I know. you know so you were oh yeah that's great and so as things went on uh, you know right now it's a hot topic rates are really low right mm -hmm. and so they've been artificially low for quite some time uh, it's kind of ironic that we're having this talk today. The jobs report will actually come out on Friday, and mm -hmm. it was much better than expected. The interest rate market is going to increase. I expect by next week you'll see a small increase in rates, mm -hmm. and then you'll probably see another increase in June simply because the stock market's doing well, mm -hmm. the economy for the most part seems to be doing well, and as you well know, the inventory in Ascension Parish is is so so low there's really nothing out there so that's a good that's actually a good thing because where rates are right now we want to start kind of seeing them bump up a little bit mm -hmm. i think that the inventory is going to start expanding we have a lot of builders and things that we do business with that are coming online with some new products uh, so i think it's going to be a fantastic year and many years to come i really expect uh, things to continue to grow because it's a small moderate growth. It's nothing right. like what we've seen in the past where you have these highs and lows. What we've seen over the, really the last six or seven years is small moderate four to five percent appreciation uh, in markets. I know in, in the market that you're in, which we all do a lot of business out there, they've seen a lot more than that. They've seen some eight and ten percent growth range. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think one of the things that separates me and more importantly, my team apart is that we like to sit down with you and really kind of do a full buyer's consult. And so it's amazing to me, uh, last month was a, was a fantastic month. We closed over 17 loans, but we had over nine of those 17 loans that were uh, flood related. Mm -hmm. So you still have a lot of people that are in hurting situations, right? But to be able to sit down with somebody and say, tell me a little bit about your story. Why, you know, why is it now that you want to buy? Because realistically, rates have been low for a long, long time, right. right? So what's changed your circumstance or what's going on? Why is now important? Forced, forced That's right. Ownership. That's right. So it might be a forced home ownership. It might be an opportunity where they were in a house that was flooded, you know, and a lot of people don't know. What do I do? What, what loan packages do you offer yeah. for people that have flooded? So there's there's a, there's a loan that most people have heard about at this point, being is that we're, what, seven, eight months away from the flood. It's an FHA loan. It's mm -hmm. called a 203H, where we can lend 100% to buy a new home, okay? okay? And they don't have to be a previous homeowner. They could be renting an apartment or living in a, in a rental house, and if we can prove that that house flooded, i.e. the FEMA documents, uh -huh. because most people had FEMA documents showing that they had a, they were in a flood-related area, uh -huh. then we could lend up to 100% of that uh, new home purchase. Okay. So you could effectively get into a house pretty much no money out of pocket if we can get the seller to pay the closing costs, which you and I can negotiate. Mm -hmm. uh, and then right after the storm, GMFS, we came up with a product outside of that because we're here local, right? right. We saw the need be so huge. We actually had over 3,000 of our own clients that were flooded, impacted. And so we came up with a product to where we will lend 
uh, up to 90% on the new home that you're going to buy that's completed. So let's say that you find a house that's flooded and gutted and mm -hmm. it's at your parish. Okay. And let's say that today you could buy it for 180,000. All right. Okay. And let's say that when you got that house completed, it would be worth 300,000. We'll lend 90% of that 300000 So I've had some of my clients in the Central Parish be able to get into a flooded and gutted house for literally no money out of pocket on that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's been, that's been a really a good uh, breath of fresh air that I've been able to, to help with. Or if you had a home, some people, as you know, didn't have flood insurance, and we could lend 90% of the value of that house completed to help offset the money that they didn't get for flood insurance. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to just be for a new home that you're looking to buy. It mm -hmm. could be for a house for a family member or something like that, that they, you know, they're in a bad spot and they've, they've tapped out all their finances. I've seen that a lot lately because nobody expected that, right? Right, it was, and it took it, a lot of time for people to get their money from a lot of the insurance companies. It hasn't been the best right you know <laughs> situation for many people so even some even though it's been months now some people just now got their money so that's why the market is still very very strong um, with our 2007 you know decline it even though we really weren't doing as much business as we did before we did not fall out like other areas in the country so Correct. I think that would helped us steady that back up yeah so um, this was just a a forced bubble right. because of the flood. There's no doubt about it. Right. I know that you um, you have been doing the, the flood loans, but I, I know that you also do VA loans. Some uh -huh. lenders do not. Right. Um, what, is, what is a VA loan and how is it that your company, what do you do for a VA loan? Sure, sure, sure. Well, the first thing we do is we sit down with the veteran and kind of assess, assess the needs, you know, and figure out you know, where do you want to buy since your parents, mm -hmm. if that's the case. And then we get a couple of their forms, which is called a DD-214 or Certificate of Eligibility. Mm -hmm. And we actually have two of our own VA underwriters in my office on the Florida Boulevard location. I'm on the Sherwood and Corsi, as you know. Mm -hmm. But we have two VA underwriters there that will, we submit the paperwork, it'll come back. And a lot of people think that it's, it's VA dictating it, in which some of it, that is true, but the, mm -hmm. the loan is still underwritten through us right here locally. And then we turn around and fund that loan and service that loan. So your loan really stays with GMFS. So whenever they write out their payment, mm -hmm. it will always be out to That's GMFS right. lending? Is That's that? right. Okay. That's right. G it's actually GMFS mortgage. Okay. And so uh, I'm, I'll be your point of, point of contact uh, as well as the team. And we'll kind of talk a little bit about the team and some of the things that differ us. But for as far from a VA loan, a lot of people think I have to go through the VA to get that. And that's just right. not the case because the VA actually does not do the loan. The VA defers it to lenders that will do, do the, the loan. loan. So we do a lot of VA loans. Matter of fact, I've got two closing this month. Um, it's, a, it's a great product for somebody mm -hmm. that served our country, you know, and I, and I think that a lot of people miss out on that and just really don't understand. I know before I really got into the business, I heard a lot of bad things about it that, that they weren't being taken care of and things like that. But this type of product or loan, you could actually do 100% financing on that loan as well. Oh. So uh, there's a good chance that that, that that buyer on a VA loan could get into that house with zero money out of pocket. I know that- Even, uh, um, even with like their uh, inspections and appraisals mm -hmm. and, so all of that can be rolled into their That's loan. That's right, it can be rolled in with a VA loan. I know that uh, we, we had just closed one, the Parkers, yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah. so yeah, that was a very, very, um, Got rewarding, it yeah, very rewarding, and, mm -hmm. and a lot of people get that misconception. Well, VA is going to take a lot longer, forty-five to sixty days. We've gotten a lot of those done within the thirty-day process, uh, and again, it's just being able to control the process with my team mm -hmm. and my team of underwriters being here locally. It, it helps to kind of get it pushed through the process. Absolutely. Um, I, there's other loan products. I know you do reverse mortgages as yep, well, we so do. you can tell us a little bit about yep, that. Yep. So the uh, reverse mortgages uh, is a great product. A lot of people, again, get the misconception that that was a quote unquote bad thing where I have to give up my home. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of seniors, you have to, the only requirement is, is you have to be of the age of 62 or older. Mm -hmm. That's really the only requirement. They don't look at credit. They don't look at income. They don't look at anything of your assets. Mm -hmm. So if you had a house or your parents had a house mm -hmm. that was paid off mm -hmm. and they worked their whole entire year or years to pay off a home mm -hmm. and they're just sitting there living on social security or on a small amount of income, mm -hmm. you can tap into that equity. They can actually tap into that equity 
and not have to have a payment. So you could draw out money on the equity in that house and it's a non-recourse mortgage, which means you do not have to pay that loan back. Mm -hmm. So people that, again, I did one for my aunt. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she had a husband that had passed away. He was military, got a little bit of money from that, mm -hmm. but she had this beautiful home that was paid off. Okay, so but she didn't have any other assets okay. to tap to tap into. So we set it up to where she's getting an annuity payment each and every month mm -hmm. out of the equity that she's already has that they built up together in the home. So it's a great product. We do a lot of them for our seniors, mm -hmm. um, and it's just something that again I see a lot of misconceptions. But you can have uh, someone call me. We can sit down. We can talk about it and. And it might not be the right fit for that person, right. you know, but for most cases, from what I found, it's a fantastic product mm -hmm. to help that senior through those golden ages. Mm -hmm. um, some people don't know what a conventional loan is. Yeah. And so your FHA, you have conventional. Yeah. What would be the difference between those two loans? Sure. And a lot of people, from what I found, is they've, they've heard the myth that on a conventional loan, they have to put 20% down. Mm -hmm. And that's yep. just not the case. Mm -hmm. You could get into a house as a first time home buyer on a conventional loan. Mm -hmm. Conventional simply means that Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac backs that loan. Right. That's all that that means. But you could get into a house with as little as 3% down mm -hmm. on a conventional product. Typically, what we look at on a conventional loan is that's a little bit of your higher credit score bars. I like to say 660 to 700. Right, so above 620. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and, and then, so why would you use an FHA versus a conventional loan? FHA loan, we can actually go down all the way down to a 580 credit score. Mm -hmm. So your 580 really up to your 660, 680-ish, mm -hmm. that might be a good bucket for some of your FHA clients. Mm -hmm. They'll allow a, a 3.5%, mm -hmm. but they're a little bit more forgiving on what we call your debt to income ratio. Mm -hmm. So they allow you to have a little bit more debt than per se a conventional product would or, or a Fannie Mae loan. Okay, so if you if you have um, the 660 uh, credit score yep. or above, why would FHA not be as beneficial as a conventional loan? What, right. what about that product makes yep. it better for someone with a higher credit yeah, score? Yeah, so your higher credit scores, uh, what you would look at on a conventional, the payment might be lower because the mortgage insurance could be lower. That's mm -hmm. why we would look at it, uh, a conventional loan versus an FHA loan. Mm -hmm. So typically speaking, it's a little bit more forgiving, FHA is, mm -hmm. on your lower credit scores, mm -hmm. but you have the mortgage insurance associated with that loan, which is a little bit higher, which mm -hmm. drives the payment up just a little bit right. more. So conventional, the reason why we would go conventional in most cases with somebody with a better credit score is because it's going to give them a lower payment. Okay. So you're kind of risk reward, you know, mm -hmm. obviously the, the higher the credit score, hopefully the lower the payment because we can offset that with the, the lower rate. Right. Uh, but we're able to get people right now. Rates are fantastic. I mean, I'm still looking at a lot of rates in the low fours. You know? Know. <laughs> and so we talk back, look at look 16, 17 years ago, if you got 7%, you were doing great. Mm -hmm. So when people call me and say, well, man, I see that the rates are going up. Yes. And we want them to go up because mm -hmm. we want our money to start making money, money right? right? And so right Anybody now, that has a savings account. that's right. That's <laughs> You're right. Like, so, I got five cents. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yay. But uh, as things continue to increase, uh, it's going to be hand in hand. Rates mm -hmm. are going to go up a little bit, but mm -hmm. you can still get into. I looked at it this past week that the average rent is over a thousand and fifty eight dollars. Absolutely. And so that when you start Especially looking, in Ascension Parish. That's right. You look at Ascension mm -hmm. Parish and say, My goodness, if the rent. it's twelve to fourteen hundred dollars and in most cases much more than that, I could be into a home creating home ownership and then I sit down with all my clients and show them the buy versus rent calculator. Mm -hmm. And when you when you look at those numbers and say, Man, this is where I'm in that's what I'm paying today I could be paying that owning a house and in five to and seven years, <laughs> that's right, in five to seven years, Christina could turn around and sell that house and I might make sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 just getting a four to 8% return on my money. Mm -hmm. You can't do that anywhere right now. Absolutely so, not. It's a great time to buy. Things are fantastic. Ascension um, Parish is growing exponentially. It is. New it businesses, is. new construction, there's mm -hmm. new neighborhoods coming in everywhere. I think it's a great place to live. And um, I really appreciate your time today. Thank sure. you so much for Absolutely. letting me stop in. You bet, anytime. All right, bye. Thank you. Oh, enjoy your insanely large cup of yeah, coffee. Yeah. <laughs>